Hey guys, Tim here. Uh, today we're going to do a quick unboxing of the AMD A6-5400K. Uh, this is one of the new uh, Socket FM2 uh, APUs. You see, got the chip here on the side. And the nice thing about these chips is they can do dual graphics. Uh, if you're a high-end gamer, I wouldn't recommend this chip. I'd recommend, you know, looking into, you know, like a Intel 3570K. But, you know, if you're playing games at like 720p or, you know, you're just a generic user, you know, you're surfing the web, you're, you know, playing Facebook games, you're playing like The Sims or, you know, titles like that, these chips are great. Um, they're going to save you the cost of a built-in card, but you can always add... Um, a 6670, a 6570, or a 6450, depending on uh, which processor you buy, and run it in kind of a pseudo uh, crossfire. Just go ahead and get this open here. Maybe. Uh, break out the old knife somewhere. So this is one of the two new processors from AMD out right now <clears throat> sorry about that guys, there we go and like I said this this is really going to shine, I'm going to use this in a uh, a home media center PC build uh, I think it'll it'll do really really well in that scenario so we have a little instruction manual it talks about you know what kind of socket you need and this is a socket FM2 it looks like that's in a whole mess of languages we have try not to get the thermal paste on everything we have a fan that comes with it this does have AMD's um, uh, lockdown solution uh, it has pre-applied thermal paste. It looks like it's pretty even on there. Um, it is a little dimpled, uh, so it should make good contact. And it's you know it's not super thick, but you know for a stock heatsink, um, I would like to see a heatsink more like the quality of uh, the Intel heatsinks. Um, even though I would never use one of the Intel heatsinks on an Intel processor, I'd always use aftermarket cooling. Um, it's definitely higher quality than this I feel like um, granted this chip is not gonna get very warm uh, so I'm, I'm sure I'm still gonna probably use this unless I buy um, an aftermarket one to be quieter since this will be in my uh, my AV rack away. so in the chip we have your A series AMD sticker it's actually a pretty good looking sticker and I'm not a big sticker fan but if you have a black and red case it might be worth putting on there we have the chip which you know unlike its uh, Intel brethren actually still has pins on the uh, the bottom of the chip so that's the big difference now between well one of the big differences now between Intel and AMD is that uh, the LGA like 2011 and 1155 and 1156 all have the pins uh, built into the socket and then the chip has pads and you sit that down on top so you want to be more a little more careful with these when you put them in you gotta make sure you're you know going straight down um, you don't want to bend a pin they are pretty small and they're extremely fragile so that's my quick unboxing of this A series processor you will see this used in an upcoming uh, media center PC build where I'll not only build the PC, I'm going to go through some tips and tricks with you guys on how to set it up and customize it. Uh, we'll be using Windows 7 because, in my opinion, uh, Windows 8 isn't really that good for uh, Media Center, and I'll cover that when we do the videos. But thank you for watching. Please subscribe, which I think is down there somewhere now. Um, I implore YouTube to give us all half of our screens back, the 24 inch screen, and Half of my screen is now white. Thank you, YouTube. But subscribe down there, like down there somewhere, uh, depending on what week it is. Maybe it's you know back over there. But 
We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.